Hey everybody, it's Matt Harper here with the 212 degree team with Keller Williams Advantage Realty here in Golden. And want to talk to you today about interest rates. There's been a lot of conversation about what's going to happen if the Fed raises the interest rates. Now they've never been uh, lower. We're really looking at historical lows here in and around 4%. Yet historically the average has been about 8%. So what does that look like for you, whether you're buying a home or selling a home, if the interest rates go up? So let's take a, a home buyer. Let's say that you're purchasing a home. And right now, today, you can afford a $1,500 a month monthly payment. And let's say your interest rate is about the 4%, give or take. What you're looking at today, as far as the home that you can afford, is probably a pretty nice home. Pretty good size. And let's say you're like me, you appreciate a good garage. Okay? That's what you're looking at today. Now, if the interest rates go from 4 to 5%, just 1%, you're looking at about a 10% reduction. And that holds true across all price points. For every 1% in the interest rate, it'll affect the monthly payment about the 10%. So let's take your same $1,500 a month payment. $1,500 per month, and we're now at 5%. What does this do for the home that you can buy? You're probably looking at a significantly smaller home. Maybe a home that's a little bit more outdated, it's a little bit older, you're going to have to do some work. You may have to sacrifice that garage or some of the things that are important to you. Okay. Well, what does this do for you as a seller? Right? If you're selling a home and not buying a home, Right now, you're probably looking at a very good pool of buyers that could potentially purchase your home. So here are buyers that are able to, uh, to purchase your home today where interest rates are about 4%. So now if we wait and interest rates start to climb, essentially what you're going to look at is you're going to look at the loss of buying power for those buyers. And a lot of those buyers are no longer going to be able to afford your home. So a lot of those buyers are immediately going to go away and they're going to have to look for this home that they can now afford that maybe again is a little bit more outdated. So it's a good reason to be looking at what uh, timing looks like for you to get in the market this year. 2017 is going to be a pretty interesting year here for real estate. Now if you know anybody that's thinking about selling a home, buying a home, or investing in real estate, we'd love for you to reach out to us. And if you have any questions, we'll see you guys next week from Las Vegas.